good morning and welcome to a home vlog. <laughs> Let's see. What does this baby think? He's like, I don't care. So Jackson, I know we said this in the last one, but Jackson hated it when we said that. Yeah, he used to like cry. Yeah, but this little guy, he doesn't care. Yeah, he <laughs> loves it as a matter of fact. <laughs> so uh, we are just starting the day. Yeah. It's an exciting day. Got to go to do some grocery shopping today. Mm-hmm. Uh, who knows what else? So Jackson's at the library right now. He's doing story time. They have a summertime thing that's just starting, um, I think next week, where they're gonna have animals and like magicians and stuff at the library. So that's- I don't wanna go to the library. That I sounds know. awesome. It does sound exciting. I'm excited to see who the first like presenter is. But this is just me wanting to tell you, check out your local library. Yeah. There's always fun, free stuff to do. And especially summer when the kids are out of school, there's stuff that you can go like do with your kids that's exciting and educational and and so don't forget about your local library. Don't forget time out. Uh, today's the first day that we can book stays for 2024. Mm -hmm. Things are happening. Hold on, we'll be right back. It's so funny because like there's a whole big brouhaha happening in Orlando right now between Disney and our governor, mm -hmm. and I think our governor is trying to make it so people like will not travel to Disney. But today was the first day that they opened up reservations for 2024 for hotels and it crashed the system when they opened it up. Like it's still down. It's been down for a couple of hours now because there's so much demand to go to Disney. Also, speaking of uh, like booking your Disney trip, we use a travel agent now, which is fantastic. I never really understood like travel agents before. I just figured like, why not just do it yourself? But now I understand why travel agents are like so great. So I'm gonna link our um, agent Ray down below who is Ray from Diz Life of Ours. You probably already know who she is, but I'm gonna link her down below in case you wanna check her out and use her services too. Yeah, there are things that I never thought that we would be able to do that she is able to like get for us. Yeah. And I, I gave her like a big request this time. We'll see if it comes true. What is it, do I know it? Uh, I told it to you earlier. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> also, another, this is a sad, a sad announcement. Our Starbucks closed. Not for good. Well, I don't know. It says permanently closed on the map. No, no, it's just for down for a refurbishment. But they said, we don't know when we're going to open back up. So sorry, yeah. find, find another place to get coffee. It's okay. There's plenty of places to get coffee. So we're going to go um, grab some coffee really quick from, there's a place around here called Foxtail. It, they're, they're everywhere, but there's... Um, they're everywhere in Orlando. I think it's an Orlando-based company. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I really do like their coffee. The only thing I don't like is that there's not a drive through and that makes it a little bit harder, especially with this guy, like having to pull out the stroller and all that stuff. Yeah. But since our Starbucks closed, we have to go there. <laughs> right. So I think we're going to go there right now. Yeah, come join us. Let's do it. Let me ask you guys something. You ever been to a place where there's a ton of Tesla chargers, but like they're all out of order? So like this one right here, this car is charging from a different charger that's like over yonder. And then my charger is charging this red Tesla over here, but I have to use the charger that's way down here. Cause I think that this one's actually broken cause it's got like yellow tape on it. Very confusing. <laughs> that's our shusher in the back. Tell me what your uh, oh, coffee order is. I thought it showed the, um, the place. We went to Foxtail. Mine says it. Oh yeah. So I got a, it's hard because I'm so used to ordering it at Starbucks. So I got a latte cafe latte with vanilla cold foam, iced, simple syrup, half calf with almond milk. And I'll tell you when we get back to the house, you guys actually helped me refine my order, my coffee order. Oh. So thank you. I found my like permanent coffee order because of a comment from one of you. And I'm, I'm very thankful because I love it. I got a peppermint mocha because Christmas is starting mm -hmm. now. Oh yeah. It's May. <laughs> it's June. Almost. It will be June when you guys are watching. Oh. It's gonna be June. <laughs> is that how it goes? Somebody was like, I know that you're an old person when you use that meme. It's gonna be May? Yeah. And I was like, oh no. I didn't use it though. <laughs> no, you did it wrong. I said it's gonna be June. <laughs> it makes me even younger than the person that said it. Mm -hmm. I'm actually a baby. <laughs> so. We filmed some part of a home vlog before, and this is this another part of it. <laughs> but we're also filming this on a different camera, on a new camera. This is a test. This is a test. I rented a camera. You can rent cameras. This is something that I always think that we should tell people because I feel like people who a lot of people... Let's go to 
Jackson's been obsessed with Alexa. A lot of people um, are vloggers now, yeah. and people are always trying to upgrade their like vlogging cameras, their mics, whatever it is, their equipment. So this is a way to kind of decide if you want to spend the money on upgrading your your gear without without spending the full amount. So like this camera that we're using right now, we rented it, but it would cost how much to buy it? Twenty four hundred. But to rent it, we paid. I think like two hundred bucks. Yeah, so, and we get it for a few days, I think? No, no, we have it for like two weeks. Oh, do we? Yeah. Oh, okay, Give cool. Me, Ma. Hey, buddy. But this is just a, an easy way to not spend all the money to decide what you would like to buy. Right, so this is the Sony ZV-E1. So, full frame camera, very tiny package, little tiny lens on it, very light compared to the camera that we normally use. But yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of excited for it too. See how the audio sounds. See how the video looks. When I first turned it on, it was like much different looking this is than the, the video sorry, quality out of this one. I just one. wanted to show you, this is the camera that we normally use. And it's um, huge. Yeah. It's really hard to, to vlog like at home. It's just too big. So when we went to Disney Springs, I'll link that video down below if you didn't see it, but there was a squiggle in the lens of our G7X. And I was using that camera anyway, just because it's easier to hold. This, right. And this one right here is easier to hold as well. Yeah. So I'll put in like maybe a little picture of you holding it so they can see the size difference. Because it's uh, there's a difference. Significant. Yeah. Here's something that's a little bit difficult for me with this camera right now is that it's zoomed way in on my face. So this is a 28 to 60 lens, but it's also using like this dynamic stabilization that crops in even further to make it a little bit more stable, but it makes it zoom in a lot. So I can get less stability and zoom out fit more in the frame, or I can be zoomed in a lot and have it be more stable so that I can kind of like walk around and maybe it's a little bit more smooth as I'm walking. All right, so in the last home vlog, we told you guys how we've been doing a chart with Jackson, a reward chart. So we're putting our final stickers of the day on yeah. mm -hmm. because we had our quiet time. So they played Legos for quiet time today. Yeah, and we, you, did, you played nice. You did play yeah. nice, yes, thank you. And you ate your lunch. We didn't give you your lunch sticker, but you did eat your lunch. No, no. It's on, I listened well. Oh, you listened well. Sorry, yes. Yeah. Yep, you did listen today. Yep. And then you played nice up here. So you got all your stickers for Saturday. For Saturday. Yeah, and what does that mean when you get all your stickers? What do you get to do? Um, uh, get my Audi. Get your Audi. <laughs> we buy him an Audi. <laughs> no. Jackson has been into Hot Wheels, and so we got this set to choose from. We also have a box full of, oh, do you already see the one you want? Where do you, do you see it in there? There's a box full of just cards and things that we bought at the dollar store. Is that your Audi? That's my Audi. All right, good job doing all of your stickers and listening. You wanna open it? Okay. So something, I do like this camera. Like, I really do. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Um, so, something that's really cute that he does now that we do this um, prize box is he like looks, he, be, before the day is over, he'll look through the box to decide in case he gets all of his stickers and he gets to pick a car or a toy out of the box, he looks at them all day and like tries to pick out which one he would, he like daydreams about the one he would choose. So he did that today and he picked the Audi. So wait, why do you like the Audi so much? I do. But what what, what do you like about it? The Audi. What what kind of Audi? Can I see the bottom? Yeah. Okay, let me look. It's the Audi RS e, e Tron GT. The electric car. It's an electric car like our car. Yeah, this is actually interesting. They have like but, 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 uh, it's Hot Wheels. Citron, and that's the, um, and that's the real toy car. The Citron. Yeah. Yeah, but this is an Audi. Yeah, I just like the Citron. Oh, but you like, you picked this one today though. Okay. So this is something that if you look on the side, this is like the series. Oh, okay. So this is number five out of, or six out of 10 of the Hot Wheels Green Speed. I think, oh, they're all electric. I think Those are all electric. We have oh. the, the, uh, the Tesla is in here too. Oh. You think it'll go very, I think it'll very go. fast? Yeah, it's a GT. See. Whoa. Wow. Wait, it spin. <laughs> so this reward chart has been doing wonders. It's honestly been like such a good thing to do with him. Sorry, I need to like rec like realize how to hold this thing. <laughs> um, it's been such a great thing with like for him and for us. So I highly recommend 
like a reward chart if that's something that you guys are looking into doing i recommend doing it i wanted to also mention in our last Whoa, home vlog yeah, we opened our package from our friends in the uk yeah. that's actually the box we're using for his toys is the box that they sent the stuff in it was the perfect size but um you guys left so many good comments. I was asking if we were sending them a package, what should we send them? Like what, if you're not from here, if you're from the UK and you were to get a package from America, what would you want to get? And you guys left so many good comments. I've been like reading every single comment. So we're going to get the box together to send them a package from America with all of your suggestions. And one of the one thing that actually a couple of things. What was the weirdest thing? Hold on. The weirdest thing, Tim said, what was the weirdest thing? Crest toothpaste or Colgate toothpaste? It was either Crest or Colgate toothpaste. I'll have to go back through the comments. Yeah, you can go to the um, And then the other one that I thought was really interesting was goldfish crackers. Because, like, mm. do you guys not get goldfish crackers over there? We have them all over the place. I know. I, I don't know. I just, I didn't, I would not have thought of that. So I just thought that was very interesting. So now that Jackson has his new car, one thing we have to do is we have a test that we do with every new car. Okay. Right, buddy? All right, so this camera just overheated for some reason. But. I don't like that because we live down here in Florida and when we go out and it's hot, can't have it overheating all the time. But also I changed the um, the priority to recording rather than like heat protection. So I set the priority to the temperature being high. So we'll see how that works. We're gonna have to take it out in the heat at some point to test it out. One thing that we do have to do is every time that we get a new car, we take it upstairs and we test it on our loop-the-loop -loop track. So let's go test it out. All right, so we have to test it in this orange loop-the-loop. -loop. Mm hmm let's see it. All right, it made it. Now I have to come over and test it in this one. In this one. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. This one hasn't been working with any of the cars. I think something is slightly awry. Here, try this. Try this twin duction really quick. See if twin duction works. Twin duction works? Yeah, see if twin duction works in it. Ooh, that works pretty good. So now let's try the new one again, the Audi. This particular track is hard to get the cars to actually work in. So let's see. Oh, they made it upside down. Well, that counts, right? Yeah. I don't know what happens if I pull this lens ring back while I'm recording. So I, I changed my recording settings to 10 bit. Can I go? Yeah, go ahead. 10 bit 4 two zero rather than four two two we'll see if that helps with the overheating of the camera because i can feel it getting hot in my hand yeah go ahead also i feel like i haven't used it that much and the battery's down at 63 percent also i want to hear the difference between this front all directions rear so does it really change how it sounds here's auto it's supposed to auto do it here's just the front i don't know if you can hear me any different now and then here is all directions, and then just back to me. Jackson, say something. Uh, Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty? Yeah. All right, we'll see how that worked. And now right now it's on auto too, so it's supposed to like pick which way it wants to hear. Well, the baby Oliver's awake now. Oh yeah. He's doing some tummy time. You like it, buddy? Yeah, he's sticking tongue out. He's like, I don't know if I like it. I'm not sure. Okay, you showing him how to do it, buddy? Giving him a gentle kiss. Very gentle, right? All right, so I put a handle on this camera. I think if we ended up getting this camera, I would get that like Sony handle that like you can like record from the handle. You know what I mean? It's like a tripod that has the buttons on it and you can zoom on the handle and everything. This one I like. Yeah, it's nice. I like so far. I mean, obviously I, I haven't edited this video yet, so I don't know what it looks like in the editing software, but right. so far I really like it. So far so good. Yeah. One thing that I want to do, and that's why I started recording was, I want to put in a clip from the big camera, oh, like, like right side now. By side, yeah. Not side by side. Well, I, we can do side by side, but like I'm gonna. The next clip will be from our typical camera, so you can see the difference between this and that. All right. So this is our typical camera. As you can see, it's a lot further away, yeah. but that's just because of the the lens on that one and everything like that. But this is what we typically use. How does the color look? What's the difference? I know the audio is way different because we're using a different microphone on this camera. Bring it closer to like where the other one, that's close. <laughs> is that how close it is? <laughs> yeah, that's what, it, that's what the framing was like. Oh wow, okay. On the other one. Hmm. So yeah. All right. But let me take off the, uh, the stabilization on this one so you can see, because that lens is actually wider than this lens. 
Oh. I know. But because of the stabilization, it brings it in to give it some space to move around. Oh. So, let's go back to the, the new, new camera. The rented camera. Now the question is, can I do it while I'm recording? I don't think I can. <laughs> no. All right. Hold on. Let me zoom out on you guys to like non-stabilized. So this is just standard steady shot, not like super advanced steady shot. I feel like the colors are like a little bit deeper. Oh yeah, I made them deeper. Oh, like okay. I adjusted the colors in the camera. Yeah. So a little bit more true to life, I think. Yeah, I think so. But it all depends on when we get it outside. Yes. That's the question. So we're gonna use this camera. Um, we're going on a trip in a couple of days. We're gonna use this camera on, I think we're, we're going on two trips actually. I think we're gonna use it on both trips. Yeah. So you'll get to see it like in bright, bright outside, which yeah, I think will be very telling. But I also still have to bring the other camera just in case, because this one did overheat that one time. Oh yeah. So I changed some settings in it. We'll see if that changes anything. Yeah. It might. You never know. But that is, yeah, that's pretty like, we can't have that. Right. Like especially It's doing... like 90 degrees outside. <laughs> yeah. So, and I'm wondering if the steady shot has something to do with that. I don't know. So maybe if I don't put it on the highest steady shot, if I just put it on like the medium steady shot. Yeah. We'll see. Camera mm. talk with Tim. I feel like this is pretty good. This is like not the highest level of stabilization. It's the medium. Yeah. Should be fine. All right, I was uh, eating cereal. We've been trying really, really hard to be good and not be like super unhealthy and eating just like sweets at night. And the thing that I think will save me is eating cereal. I don't know that cereal is much healthier than candy. You think? Have you seen the amount of sugar that's in these things? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not eating like, like chocolate O's. I'm eating like, is that a cereal? Sure. <laughs> Chocolate. I'm eating Raisin Nut Bran, which is so good. By the way, when we went to the grocery store, cereal is $9 a box. <laughs> it's very expensive. Like, what? What yeah. the heck? That's, I didn't... Why I don't, that's why I don't understand why people eat cereal in the morning. I mean, I don't. I eat it at night. People talk <laughs> about how expensive eggs are, mm -hmm. but I feel like I can get more mornings out of eggs than I can out of cereal. You eat a lot, but you, you get like a whole huge bowl. Yeah. Well, that's... I ate a lot of eggs too. <laughs> There's no difference. They're both large portions. Yeah, you just eat too much of things. Not recently. <laughs> Every morning, here's, I'll tell you what my morning is. Okay. I have a banana, mm -hmm. a whole cup, maybe a cup and a half of blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, mm -hmm. a whole cup of strawberries, mm -hmm. four tablespoons of powdered sugar, half a cup of Powdered, sorry, powdered peanut butter, not powdered sugar. <laughs> Just uh -huh. whole, whole box of powdered sugar, uh, four tablespoons of powdered peanut butter, and half a cup of oat milk. Mm. That's what I have for breakfast every morning, all at the same time in a smoothie form. I'm not just like eating spoonfuls of powdered peanut butter. I think you need to add greens to your smoothie. Why is that? You need something other than the fruit. I think Why? you need like spinach. Why? Because. I think I think you're. You're just listening to the, like, what, what society's telling you, man. <laughs> you, need to, you need to free your mind. We live in a society. No, I think that you- fruit is the same thing. It's a vegetable is the same thing as a, as a, as a vegetable. A fruit is the same thing as a vegetable. It's fiber. There's too much sugar in the fruit. Okay. And then you add four teaspoons of, of powdered, powdered sugar. sugar. <laughs> all that I eat is powdered sugar. So, it's all sugar in the morning. Um, yeah, I eat uh, oatmeal or my chia pudding. I need to make some more of that chia pudding. But I wanted to talk to you guys. So recently, this past month, we talked to you a little bit about this in the last live show that we did, and I'll link that live show down below. But in the past month, we, we have only been uploading a video every other day. The only thing I don't like about this camera and I don't like about standing here is I always have your shadow right here. Well, that you has see nothing that? to do with my, this camera. That's just where we're standing. I need to do this. Where should we stand that doesn't do that? Well, you need to just stand here. Yeah, slightly. but then I'm like... Just slightly like, forward. I just want to tell you something. <laughs> Here, you come to the other side. You never let me stand on this I'm side. I'm right-handed. Fun fact. Here's a little behind the scenes. Every time we start filming, I, I'm usually on this side for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why either, but then you're like, get on the other side. I don't yell at you like that. <laughs> I say, I'm right-handed. Now there's a bigger shadow on your face. What the heck? Wow. Let's, well, let's go to the couch. Okay. Let's field trip. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Here's a good, a good thing to test. What? You walk to the couch. Mm, okay. I'm going to walk like this 
right? This is how I would walk around the theme parks that's talking. Not, that's not how you walk. Oh, okay, sorry. I would actually walk like this. Hold on, let me start over again. I would actually walk like this. This is how I walk around the theme parks. Just kidding. I walk like this, right? And then I'll switch on the super stabilization. <laughs> okay, now you can see it's zoomed way in, super stabilization. Is there that much of a difference? Like, are you like, oh my goodness, blown away by how it's like watching uh, and Robin Hood shoot an arrow. I don't know, what do you say? What? What's something that's very smooth? It's like watching a chicken's head move around. <laughs> you know how birds do that? I would say like that you have a gimbal. Yeah, like I have a gimbal, that makes more sense. <laughs> ah, Robin Hood. How'd you get so tall? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let me finish my cereal. Oh. I just did. Jen has to finish her cereal. But I just did. <laughs> I just did a silly voice. Did a silly voice. It reminded me of, okay, Vine. Like, we love Vines. When when Justin Bieber goes, I like that laugh. It's to Maria <laughs> Menounos, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I did like a silly voice. And it reminded me of Muppets. Oh yeah, Muppets. you guys should all watch Muppets Mayhem. It is such a good show. I don't even have to watch it. You just tell me what happens. Yeah, There's Floyd Pepper. He's a great character. Mm. Who's your favorite character from uh, the Mayhem? Baby Animal. Baby Animal. <laughs> I was kind of sad. Like, so there's a baby animal. Not sad. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I was a little sad. Uh, there's a baby animal photo op yeah. that's going in front of Muppets Vision 3D. Mm -hmm. And I retweeted, I quote tweeted it and I said, keep. And only like two people understood it. What, what is, I don't get it. That to me says more people need to watch the show. What is it? That's the, like animal showed up on Floyd Pepper's door mm -hmm. with a note on it that just said keep. Mm. And from that point on, he raised him. And then they found out that he had like natural rhythm. So they're like, you're going to play the drums. And he was amazing at playing drums. And so he was in the mayhem. Mm, okay. So. That makes me sad. Yeah, I don't know. There's no other, like, reference as to how. Why didn't his parents keep him? I, he was kind of like, Floyd took him out of the cage and was like, he was like, tried to bite him imme immediately. He's like, whoa, let's go rock. <laughs> and so. He's like, give this kid a drumstick. No, it took a little bit of time. Uh -huh. But he was like a teenager when he got a drumstick. Mm, okay. So. Well, good on Floyd. Also, Animal, amazing hibachi chef. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like the same thing. Yeah. Okay. But I want to talk to you guys. So in our last live show, we talked a little bit about how this next couple of weeks, so like last couple of weeks, was going to be a little bit willy-nilly with the vlogs. So as you guys may have noticed, we have been putting up a video every other day for the month of May, and now we're in June. And I'm hoping that we will get back on schedule for everyday uploading. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen for the month of June. I would like for it to happen hopefully by the month of July. But we are hopefully, fingers crossed, finally found somebody. So we had a nanny for Jackson and then we decided we were going to put him into school. He's going to start school very soon. So she started looking for other jobs and she found another job. So unfortunately, we no longer have that nanny. But... We are, oh, so then we found a summer nanny who is fantastic. We love her. She's like amazing. However, she is not from here. She like is relocated for the summer. So we only have her till the end of the summer. Right. So I think, fingers crossed, we think we found the right person, like permanent long-term nanny. This will be for Jackson when he gets out of school and also for the baby during the day so that I can work, but I can still nurse him. Right. So we're just gonna be like working together to make sure that the baby is, you know, getting all the things that he needs, but I can still work. Right. He can still nurse. And so I'm fingers crossed, like positive vibes. I really, really hope that this is like, I think she's the right person. Yeah. And she's gonna hopefully be starting very soon, so. So the way that it's been working is you work mm -hmm. and I stay home yeah. and watch the baby. And then the next day you watch the baby and I go out. Right. Yeah. So. so we've been kind of going back and forth. And then that means I basically can't upload a video that day that I'm watching the baby. Right. It's hard with the age that he's at because he is, maybe it's just him. I don't know. I don't know if it's, I, I can't remember if Jackson was this way, but he wants to be held all the time. 
Right. Like he does not want to be put down. There's no like, we bought the, actually we bought this baby Bjorn bouncer thing and it's great. I love it. We'll show it to you. He likes it for like five or 10 minutes at a time. Depends on what's happening. Well, he if wants you're you to, sitting there with yeah, him, he, he likes you, it. He wants you to be right there in front of him like talking like sitting to Sitting on the ground. Yeah. Right. And I can't work and do that. So, um. What do you think? Can you get it? Yeah, you can. You getting that bear? Yeah, there you go. This is new. This this is new where he's like trying to grab for stuff here. Like you see him grabbing at the bear. So yeah, so it's just been very hard to, like I have to be holding him, he has to be in the carrier, which I love. Like I love being so like, he's constantly like here, like right next to me, which is fantastic, but I can't work and do that. Right. Which I don't mind, honestly, like spending, like these are these are days and times and hours and minutes, like we're not getting that time back. He's, you know, this is our last baby. Right. I don't think we're going to have another one. No. So <laughs> Tim's like, no. Um, but yeah, so I want to make sure that I'm like getting this time, but I also do, you know, you have to work. So, right. um, so yeah, so I'm very excited that we think that we found, and she was talking about like baby yoga and, um, like baby, like steam. So steam is like science, technology, engineering, engineering, math. Steam, oh, art and math. I was like, what's the Sorry, A? That's, <laughs> STEM, it doesn't have the art, but STEAM yeah. has the art. So if you're not familiar, um, there's like types of classes, school, a, a type of learning, I guess. I don't yeah. know. What is it? It's just a field. A field. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like um, a... So like STEM like uh, would be science, technology, engineering, math. Right. But then they have STEAM, which adds the A, which is art. Right. So yeah, so she's already working in that field. So yeah, so she's going to come on and I'm... Oh, I hope, I hope she's going to come on. We're, we have one more interview. So yeah, I'm just excited that I will, um, that the baby will get all of these great, like he'll have the advantage of being with me, but also getting all of this other like education. Yeah. Um, so I'm just so excited. Yeah. It's going to be good. Yeah. And I'll still be able to nurse him. That's like super important to me. I didn't get to nurse Jackson for as long as I wanted to because I got my COVID vaccine and it was so new at the time that they were like, don't nurse him for the next two weeks because we're just not sure. And I wish I hadn't done that because he weaned himself in those two weeks that I didn't nurse him. He was 15 months old, I think, when we when I got the vaccine. So he, he weaned himself at 15 months. And I'm hoping that I can nurse Oliver for two years. Right. That was like my goal with Jackson. It just didn't work out that way. So. Also, uh, I wanted to mention, it's so interesting how different the two of them are. Yeah. Because little things like Jackson loved the pacifier. Yeah. Oliver will not take it. Yeah. He, which kind of stinks because it is like a soother. So when he's upset and he does, he gets upset. Like there's not a whole lot you can do. I have to nurse him. Right. Like that's or, his soother. Yeah. Or I have to do my special walk that I did from the kitchen over <laughs> with him. The silly walk. The silly walk. He loves that. Yeah. What else is different? Um, he seems to dislike being on his back more than Jackson did. I think that might have to do with just, he has some tummy troubles. Yeah. And I think it has to do with that. He's a little bit more gassy. So with the whole NICU visit and everything, another thing was reflux. Mm -hmm. And so he has a little bit of a hard time after eating but also a little bit sometimes before eating, depending on which side he's laying on. Yeah. <laughs> so that's something that we've been having a hard time with recently is that in the middle of the day, he will get hungry and then he'll get angry that he's not being fed. But I can't feed him when he's crying. Yeah, you can't feed him when he's angry. So like you have to, he needs to be calmed down before he will like latch. Right. So it's just like a whole like thing that we go through every, right. all day, every day. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that he is nursing. I'm happy that we were able to do it. It is, um, can be tough. So, you know, but I'm, but I'm happy that we're doing it. Yeah. I will also say this, uh, this camera has it overheated. I know. I was kind of waiting for it to overheat. I, I don't have it set up to tell me how long we've been recording. Oh, oh wait, maybe it says really tiny up there. Hello? Nine minutes and 48 <laughs> seconds. Why is it so small? Oh my gosh, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys 
is that they're finally gonna start working on our backyard renovation. Yeah. So we, to we told you guys about this probably like a month ago that we were doing a backyard renovation. Two months. Was it? Yeah. They're finally gonna start, so. Was it two months? I don't know. Maybe it, it was feels like month. it was 10 years ago. But now they're gonna start soon. Yeah. So we're very excited. I cannot wait. Yeah. I just want to have like a space outside that we can right now. We don't have like any covering outside and it's just way too hot for like Jackson, the baby, us just to be like out there. So we'll get to actually like have an outdoor space. I can't wait. Yeah. So that's super exciting. I'm just, I just can't wait to have like a cozy, comfortable space outside to hang out. Yeah. Getting the house painted, getting a new garage door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll be exciting. Adulting. Yeah. Who's excited? <laughs> I am. I'm really excited. Me too. Also, yes. one thing, quick update on Oliver. Oh yeah. He is now, he had his very first laugh. Yes. Which was exciting. Mm -hmm. And he laughed at Jen sticking her tongue out and him sticking his tongue out back at her. Yeah. So he does like a, like, he responds. Uh, yeah. Like if you stick out yeah. your tongue, he'll stick out his tongue. Yeah. And he does it like, he know. I think he knows that he's doing it, I think. Yeah. You can, it's an obvious, we'll put in a video. Yeah. Uh, in between the two of us, right here, mm -hmm. you'll be able to see him sticking his tongue out in response to Jen. So like he's like, Bleh, and Jen's like, Bleh, <laughs> and Jen he's like, Bleh, and then yeah. I was like, Bleh. Yeah. <laughs> what's that? And then he he also started like grabbing for his toys. Yeah, um, that was really cool. And that happened. Video of that right now. Oh, do you have a video of that too? Yeah. Oh, okay. We that happened right after we filmed his two month update. Yeah. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that video down below. But we filmed his two month update like throughout the month. So he's still like progressing, you know, so as we're coming up to his three month uh, milestone. Yeah. It's coming up soon. I can't believe mm -hmm. he's gonna be three months old. In three days. I know, I just think that's like so wild. Yeah. I just can't believe we have a three month old. I can't believe I gave birth to him three months ago. I know. I feel like his entire pregnancy was even just kind of a blur. Like it just, I don't, it doesn't feel real. Blue by. Yeah, still, still to this day, it's like, wow, we have a three month old. Yeah. And a three year old. Yeah. It's just wild. Look at that. I know. <laughs> three, 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 2023. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like that's like all of our updates. We got the house update. Oh, that's a fun play on words. What? And then they're all of our updates. Oh, yeah. All of our. Yeah. Meteor. Meteor. <laughs> Meteor. But we, I think that was everything. We told you about the house. We got the house stuff coming up. We've got the baby is progressing. Um, we showed we you Jackson. A boatload of trips coming up. Yeah, we're excited about traveling. We're excited about uh, a lot. We have a lot of just like local trips, but exciting local trips. Yeah. There's just a lot going on. We, today is our wedding anniversary. Oh yeah, our, so wait, this is the day we got married at the quarter. Courthouse. Yeah, so um, we did get married in Ireland. That was like our religious blessing wedding, but we got married at the courthouse just to make it like official in the United States uh, today. Yeah, uh, just, just like, today, it was this morning. Well, what, how many years ago was it, 12? It was 12 years ago. 12 years ago. 12, it was four score. <laughs> is that 12 years? I don't know what that is. Is it 12 years? That's how long, yeah, 2011. No, no, the four score thing. Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. And then um, this no, year. No, it can't be because it was four score and seven years ago. Right? Yeah, I guess. Our forefathers brought forth a new nation. I don't know this one. Oh, okay. I don't think he's park address. <laughs> but we, yeah, this is our 12 year wedding anniversary. So happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. We're going on our wedding trip. Um, we do this every year. We're leaving pretty soon for that. So I'm very excited to just like relax. Can't wait. Yeah. And then. Um, this year is also our 19 year anniversary of like being together. Well, like our dating anniversary, you know what I mean? Yeah. 19 years together. That's a long time. Half of our lives have been spent together. Pretty soon, it'll be still half of our lives. Well, it'll be more. Pretty soon we will have been together longer than we have not been together. Yes. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I, I think that's kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's very strange. Yeah. Not weird. Does like... that happen to everybody? Yeah. Not everybody. Well, I guess not everybody. It happens. It's like a, a typical thing though, right? Yeah. But like later okay. on, I think. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I'm just like, wow. 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 <laughs> so anyway, happy anniversary to us. Yeah. 
We got all of our updates in. We did it. Jackson got his car. He did a good job. He's got a car now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's like, I'm 16 years old. <laughs> he got his Matchbox car. Here's Hot Wheel. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Everything's great. We, I wanted good. to just check in with you guys because it's been so long since I feel like we've actually like checked in with you. You guys doing okay? Yeah, let us know. Also, also I can't wait to make our, our box for our UK friends. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys again. I don't know if I actually got it out earlier because Jackson was like trying to, you know, get his car. He was, he was very excited about getting his car for being good for the day. And I don't know if I actually got my thoughts out when he was doing that. But I'm, I can't wait to make that box for them. And I think we'll take you guys along for that so you know like what we get. Yeah. But... I'm excited to do that shopping. Yeah, me too. I was going to ask you. Oh, that's what I was. I wanted to ask you all if there was anywhere specific that you guys would like to see a video from, like a travel video. Okay. That was it. That was my question. Like in where? No, no parameters. Like, Just like if somebody's like, I'd like to see you go to Guadalajara. Oh, I've never been there. Me neither. But like, you know, leave your suggestions. Okay. I just want to know what, what the majority of people are interested in seeing. Okay. They're not saying that we will go to the place. I'm just curious to know what, up, what people would, would like. Like, I don't Leave know. a comment. We're not going there, but leave I a mean, comment People anyway. might be like, I'd like to see Fiji. I mean, I would I'd like to see Fiji. I'd I like know to see Bermuda. People were, um, and I didn't think that people would be, but people were excited to see your airport video. And yeah. people were asking for more airport like reviews. Okay. Got another one coming. Do you? Yeah, I talked to the people from the airport, and they're like, hey, come on back out. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, and do what? There are other restaurants in the in the airport. Oh, that why I want to go? Yeah, of course. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Going to the airport, but not going anywhere. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> uh, has anybody... I don't know if I asked this in that video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I asked this in that video. But has anybody else seen an airplane do that? Where like they, they spray the garden hoses on it? Um, somebody said... I'm gonna pee. Pee on my pants. Somebody, <laughs> somebody said they do it when the pilots retire too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why um, was that so funny? Because you were still laughing. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me something really funny that somebody said. And you're like, no, that happens all the time. And that was your funny thing. No, I was still laughing about the first thing. <laughs> I don't remember what the first thing was. It was when you went, oh. ah! <laughs> All right. I think we need to go to bed. So all in all, <laughs> it was a fantastic days. Yes. Sorry, hold on. I'm like crying. <laughs> Ooh, okay. All right. Hold on. <laughs> Deep breaths. Okay. I went reverse of you. You breathe out, I breathe in. <laughs> um, so with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you, you, you said, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. I'll and, link that video down below too. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>